Onslaught is a brand new game mode out of Destiny 2's new update. Okay, this is the part where I basically explained the whole encounter, but I'm going to briefly explain it here. So you got to defend an ACU from enemies in waves here. There's a playlist where there could be 10 waves or up to 50 waves. Pretty much, you just got to defend the ACU no matter what. Every three to six rounds, you'll be able to purchase turrets, traps, decoys, and upgrade them to defend against the ACU. You can throw batteries at it to heal its health back up. And depending on what playlist you pick, every 10 rounds, you will get a boss and you'll get your rewards for whatever playlist you selected. Whether it be the round 10 playlist or the 50 round playlist. I realize I should have been saying waves instead of rounds this entire time. Now I know I'm leaving other parts out of this video that I should be talking about when it comes to this game mode and what there is to know about it, but this is a thought video, not a how-to tutorial. So let's move on with my thoughts. In my opinion, this is probably Destiny 2's most fun game mode ever. It is simply like that here. It is like Call of Duty Survival, but in Destiny 2. And that's pretty much what I gotta say about it. It's fun. It's fun to play. And if you checked out my thought video over Collision, you know that for me, that's all I care about nowadays. It's just having fun in Destiny because now a days, it's kind of hard to find that. The only complaint I really have is the defenses. You only have three of them, turrets, traps, and decoys. I feel like the decoys should at least be able to shoot once you upgrade them, but they don't. They just stand there, and I don't know what they do, but I know they just stand there, pretty much. And the maps are fun to play with. Every single map that I've played so far, Vostok, Mothyard, and Midtown, all of them are fun to play and stuff. And I think that's partly because of the game mode carrying it. But still, it is fun to play, regardless of what map I'm playing. Now, prior to this game mode being released, I said that I wanted it to be open to its weaponry. No boundaries, pretty much here. And to me, it feels opened enough to the point where you have to use certain weapon types like Overload, Barrier, and Unstoppable. But, like I said, feels open enough. It, it's fine, you know. The round 10 edition of this game mode will take you about 10 to 11 minutes to complete. So about the same length as a strike. The wave 50 edition, finally said it right this time, will take you about 50 to an hour. So strap in if you want to do that 50 run. So about the same run time as a coil if you're doing the coil, a seasonal event this season, if you're doing it fully, if that makes sense in my opinion the only thing that really needs to be worked on are defenses because defenses some of them just seem kind of boring and stuff i mean maybe the decoys can start shooting and stuff be like new robots to help you out the turrets can maybe have better ai system if that makes sense and the trip mines uh should be able to regenerate over time not something to be repaid for that's something that i really don't like about this game mode about the trip mines pretty much so yeah there are some things that i don't like about the game mode but there are enough things for me to like about the game mode that makes me want to play it more it has some flaws but it has enough positives to outshine those flaws all right that wraps up my thoughts on onslaught hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like to help push the video out there leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are on this game mode and finally hit the subscribe button if you're brand new tell me you're my goal of 4k subscribers Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.